A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,283.71 points, marking an increase of 7.52 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the industrial sector with 45.01% of total shares. 65 transactions included 6,225,457 shares, worth 1,623,092 Bahraini dinars. Under the patronage of the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Middle East Catalyst Technology Conference 2017 will take place on December 6th and 7th. The conference is organized by Euro Petroleum Consultants and Babco in cooperation with the National Oil and Gas Authority. The Minister of Oil expressed deep happiness in the embrace of the Kingdom of the first version of the series of conferences. He added that he expects the global catalyst market to reach $33 billion a year by 2018. The UAE was ranked the most prosperous country in the Arab world in the 2017 Latin Prosperity Index. The report ranked the UAE at 39 globally, jumping from 41 in the 2016 edition. The UAE saw the greatest increase among the Middle East in the last 10 years. Saudi Arabia ranked third in the Arab world, making seven jumps from 85 globally to 78. China's non-manufacturing activities kept a steady rapid growth in its expansion pace in November. The non-manufacturing business activity index, accounting for the non-manufacturing purchasing managers index, stood at 54.8%, 0.5 percentage points higher than October. Meanwhile, the manufacturing PMI stood at 51.8%, up 0.2 percentage points. The figure reached the second highest of this year, remaining above 51%, for 14 consecutive months since October 2016. The Australian government said it will hold a wide-ranging inquiry into the country's banking sector, reversing its long-held opposition to the potentially embarrassing measure as political pressure mounts. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull said he would hold a royal commission into the scandal-plagued sector after a growing chorus of lawmakers vowed to support the move. Australia's big banks have come under fire in recent years over a string of scandals, including providing misleading financial advice, avoiding life insurance payouts, and failing to follow the anti-money laundering protocols. Our financial institutions operate with an implicit social license. Australians deserve and expect the highest levels of service and accountability. And for the vast majority, that's exactly what they receive. Since the financial crisis, however, there have been examples of misconduct by financial institutions, some of them extremely serious, and that's demanded a response from the institutions themselves and from government. Now, uncertainty, however, over the potential for such an inquiry is starting to undermine confidence in our financial system and, as a result, the national economy. And that is precisely what we have always been determined to avoid. Mexican economy minister said that a Trump administration demand for a U.S.-specific automotive content requirement in NAFTA was not valuable and declined to say when Mexico would offer a counter proposal. Rather than having a counter proposal ready, we first want to understand the, the, the position of the U.S. in terms of technicalities of that proposal. Now, I think that part of what we did uh, is try to get that information and try to internally, with our own stakeholders, try to define uh, whatever effort we're going to make into regional, uh, uh, regional integration and, and, and rules of origin for, for the regional value content. Uh, Eventually, we are going to have to put on the table a contra-proposal in regional integration. Uh, I was clear that uh, the domestic content is something that is not viable at this point with the Mexican auto industry. One of the elements that uh, we discuss is that we should agree on how to land uh, the modernization area of, uh, of this process. And we also exchange views that in order to be able to start uh, uh, analyzing possible 
balancing outcomes, we have to show clear priorities on our positions in the different areas.